Hey girl, it's Emily. Just popping in real quick to let you know that I have a few spots open for one-on-one -on -one coaching this month and I'd love to help you personally have it hack your health. If you need more customization with your habit loops and more accountability, then this is for you. Just go to bit.ly slash coaching with Emily. It's linked in the show notes to book a free 15-minute discovery call to find out more, but hurry before the spots fill up. Hey girl, do you wish you could make your healthy habits stick, but life keeps getting in the way? Are you tired of diet culture telling you to shrink yourself when you'd rather just find true food freedom, move your body for joy, and feel and look good in your favorite leggings? Then you're in the right place. Think of this as atomic habits for women. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, millennial mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about health and our habits. How do I know? Because I've gone from former chronic dieter to habit hacker through the power of the system that I'm now going to teach you so you can finally stop dieting and just train for life via your habits. Remember, it's not your fault your healthy habits haven't stuck. We just have to do them differently. Are you ready to habit hack your health? Then let's do this. Hey girl, welcome to Habit Hack Thursday. If this is your first time here, every Thursday, I come with just a quick tip either around mindset, movement, or food freedom when it comes to your health. And today we're habit hacking our mindset. So we're talking about our past, our current, and our future selves. We're going to go a little deep here, but I promise not too deep, not too woo-woo. And I have three questions to ask yourself to really just get out of your own way, right? We got to just push ourselves out of our own way. And this is a big reason why as women, we have to do habits differently, right? So if you've ever done the healthy habit reset, so this is my free masterclass where this is just basic habit strategy 101. You can go grab it at bit.ly slash free reset masterclass. You can get the course. It's completely free. There's also an audio only version of it as well for you to take with you and a workbook to help you move through the five step habit change method that I teach there. But the first step we teach is to figure out your habit identity, your habit identity. So what habits support who you want to be or what habits are defining who you are today even? Does working out, so for example, does working out make you a more patient mom? Does mindset work allow you to communicate better with your husband? Or does your food choices affect your energy levels, right? It's looking into the habits, the activities you do every day, and how that is supporting you and your values and who you want to be. Sometimes those habits are supporting us. Sometimes they aren't. Now, we do an exercise inside of the reset to write out who you are in the future. Like, I am a patient and present mom. I eat healthy. I move my body and I work on gratitude every day, right? That's like big picture, right? Inside the reset, you'll see I only have you start with one habit, though. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. And we write it, though, as our future selves and what healthy habits we're doing to support who you want to be. So your habit identity. Then from there, we work on habit hacking this. So we work on creating habit loops, tracking, and other higher level strategies that we take a step further inside of my signature program, the Healthy Habits Accelerator pod course, okay? So this is just basic habit strategy 101. Go try it. It's linked in the show notes. I've had the Healthy Habit Reset and had hundreds and hundreds of ladies go through it, and I hope you do too. So what if we also, though, let's take this a step deeper. What if we also took a, a look back at your past self to help your current and future self? Women have to do habits differently, oftentimes because how we view our past selves and our past failures, which I'm putting up the little quotation hand motion, failures, right? Those are all just learning experiences. You didn't fail. So in doing, in doing a little bit of extra research for this episode, I came across this article from the Harvard Business Review about your past and future self. And I thought this was such a good point. In the article, it said, the truth is 
You're not the same person you were in the past. You don't do things the same way you once did. You no longer want what you once wanted, right? Sometimes we get so caught up in even comparing ourselves to past versions of ourselves. I see this happen a lot when I coach benchmark days at Orange Theory. Like, for example, we'll do a one-mile benchmark to see how fast you can run a mile. And sometimes you're, you're able to look in the app and see what you've done in the past. Sometimes you can be so discouraged because you're like, oh, I can never beat 2019 me, so I just won't even try. Right? Like, girl, I know I cannot beat 2019 Emily doing a one mile because I was training for a half marathon at the time and I was doing Orange Theory. In all honesty, I think I kind of messed up my hormones for a little bit going too intense for too long. I was able to meet a goal of coming under um, two hours. It was like 1.59 <laughs> in some seconds um, in a half marathon. I haven't ran since then. Um, not long distances <laughs> anyways, but If I were to completely just like not work out now because I was like, well, I'm not even going to try. I can't beat the past version of myself. That's what a lot of us do, right? In so many areas of our lives. So take a step back. What are the labels you are putting on yourself? Are you saying, I do not like working out? Are you saying eating healthy is just too hard? Or I'm not good enough. I'm not as strong. I'm not as skinny as I once was. I can't do this. I don't have time for that. But also think about what season of life are you in now, then, and what season of life are you in now? If you were to try to do those healthy habits you did in the past, would you burn out? Were you like, I could not do that? I couldn't do what I was doing back then when I was training for that half marathon right now. I would burn out. I'd be so tired. Why wasn't that sustainable? Or even what did work and how? why am I not doing that now? How do we overcome these self-limiting beliefs of ourselves from the past in order to become the person we want to be today and in the future? Well, the article goes on to say, instead of labeling yourself and focusing on who you are today or who you were, you need to recognize how much you've grown and change from your former self. And this next part is key. Really listen up here. You should measure the gain, not the gap. You should measure the gain, not the gap. Write that down. Put that in your notes app. Do a little voice memo. Write it down. You can train yourself to see even short-term growth by measuring progress on a weekly, monthly, or even a quarterly basis. Hello, habit tracking. And just ask yourself, What wins have I had in the past 21 days, 30 days, 60, 90? And once you start to really distinguish between your current and former selves, it becomes possible to view your future self as a different person as well, right? When I look at who I was 10 years ago, I was climbing the corporate ladder. I was not dealing with stress in very nice ways as far as like my health, like hello, wine and cookies, Um, (laughs) I still have wine and cookies, just not at the level I used to because I don't feel great when I do. My kids were smaller too. Like parenting teenagers, a preteen and a teenager is a whole different level of like, yes, they have more independence, but oh my gosh, the emotional baggage I'm carrying in my head, just worried about them all the time. It's different, right? It's a different kind of exhaustion. So how do we get out of our own way, and really lean into our habit identity now based on the data from our past selves and our our feeling of who we want to be as our future self. Well, duh, you knew I was going to say habit hacking, right? Well, here are three questions I want you to ask yourself to help you get started in getting out of your own way. Hey, Habit Hacker, cutting in real quick to share one of my fave food freedom habit hacks to save you time, save money, and still eat healthy, and that is Factors Delicious Ready to Eat in Two Minute 
meals. This is a game changer, girlfriend. There are over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, which is my favorite, and even Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled and feeling good all day long. This is super helpful to combat food boredom too. I love to include a habit of planning out my factor meals and my weekly Sunday reset to ensure I have healthy meals to eat during my busy week of teaching classes, recording podcast episodes, working with clients, and being mom uber for my boys. So head to factormeals.com slash habit50 and use the code habit50 to get 50% off. That's code HABIT50, H-A-B-I-T-5-0 at factormeals.com slash habit50 to get 50% off. I can't wait to hear what you think of Factor. Okay, let's get back to the show. Number one, what habits worked in the past? Would this work now in the season of life that you're in? What has changed since then? Your career, your kids, your own health goals, for example. What habits worked in the past? And would this work now? Number two, what habits are you are working for you now and why? What is feeling good? What's been sticking? What feels sustainable? What habits are you doing now that aren't working for you that don't feel good, right? Maybe you're really doing a lot of emotional eating right now, and that's okay. Number three, what habits would you like to do in the future? How do you see yourself in five years? What season of life and what would would you be in and what would feel good? You know, a lot of this is just imagining and dreaming and envis- envisioning this, but the more where that thought process goes, where all those thoughts goes, that's where the energy flows to, my friends. I believe that in my heart of hearts. When you ask God for what you want, pray for it, you visualize it, you write it down, it comes to you in his time. Sometimes we should, we got to be patient, but we have to ask these questions of ourselves and really dig a little deeper. So what worked in the past or what is working now or not working now? And what habits would you like to do in the future? Then you take action. How do you take action? Well, you start creating habit loops. Start with just one. I always like for you to start with just one. You'll hear me say that inside of the Healthy Habit Reset if you grab that. And if you want to accelerate those habits as far as food, freedom, mindset, and movement, grab the Healthy Habits Accelerator because we really accelerate those habits, as it says, with a 21-day plan to help you out a little bit more systematically and higher level habit strategy. You create those habit loops, then you track your progress so you can see those small wins and the gains, not just the gaps. Like, what am I not doing? Focus on the progress and track it over time so you can freaking celebrate yourself. Now, a bonus tip for you. When it comes to habit loops, you can really encourage your past and future self to meet in today's world. I love to do this one. So when we do a habit loop, right, it's a cue routine reward. The reward part's always the hardest part for us ladies. We're not the type of people to celebrate ourselves. But one habit hack I do when I think of the final stage of a habit loop when I complete it, whether it's working out, meal prep, it's usually meal prep because I just don't like to do it. That's why I teach like a really simple system inside our program. When I eat something that I prepared like a couple days for myself, I literally say out loud, like my dog Dexter always looks at me like, what are you talking about, mom? And I'm always like, thank you, Emily, from the past you're helping me right now, girl. Oh, I love it. And that feels good. That feels good. So thank yourself from the past. Be where you are now and envision yourself in the future and start working on those habits now to become that habit identity, who you want to be. So girl, I know these mindset episodes can be a little deep, but for real, these tips will help you get out of your own way and start living your best life now and in the future. I just know it. All right, send you a big hug. I'll catch up with you next week. Hey girl, real quick before you go, did you know I have a secret podcast where I talk all about why most habit strategies don't work for us women? Spoiler alert, it's not our fault. (laughs) Visit bit.ly slash atomic habits for women. It's linked in the show notes to access my secret podcast series and have your biggest 
aha moment about why and how women have to do habits differently. And if you love the podcast, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas can find the show. Love and appreciate you, friend. We'll see you next time.